I explained to you earlier that when we have a primary key, a, a, an index table gets created, which allows the database server to look up rows within a table very quickly and to home in on the data we want very quickly. If we do backslash D now, we can see that we have two objects in our table, in our database, sorry. We have the T cars table we've just created, and we've got the sequence as well, which is a little piece of code that resides in a server memory and that is used every time a new row is entered in the table. Now, let's go and create our customer's table. So, I'll select this. I will copy. I will minimize that. I'm going to paste here. I'm going to press enter. And there we go. Same again. As you can see, here, we've uh, created our table. Another sequence was created for the column T customers customer ID. And the primary key has been created and an index has also been created. So you now, if I do black backslash T, I can see I've got four objects. The T cars and its sequence, and the T customers table and its sequence for its serial column. All right, let's go and create our last table. We're going to select this. We're going to copy. And now we're going to paste and press enter. And there we go. Here, again, we've created an implicit sequence for the rental ID serial. And we've created a primary key with a matching index. So we can, so the lookup can be much faster. And now let's have backslash g command to have a look at the objects. And hey presto, we've got our t cars with its sequence, our t customers with its sequence, and our t rentals with its sequence. Let me show you something else before we finish this tutorial. If you want to have a look at the definition of a table uh, within the PSQL uh, interactive mode, you can do backslash, oh, sorry, backslash d and the name of the tables, t cars for example. Press enter, and there you go. You get information about all the different columns in T cards, their types, okay, if they're null or not, and if there are any indexes or primary keys, which we have in our case here. And we can do the same with T customers. And you can see in T customers we have customer ID and an integer, F name, L name, phone, birth date, balance, and the primary key. And we can do the same with T rentals. And there it is. Okay, so backslash g is a great command. If by itself, it will show you uh, all the information about the database you're connected to. In our case, the database is called testdb. But if you put the name of a table in front of you of it, or after it, sorry, it will tell you the information, the definition of that table. Okay, so that's it for today. Uh, you've learned how to create tables, you've learned a little bit about some of the data types used in Postgres, and you've, got, you've had a little uh, uh, information about constraints, primary keys, and foreign keys. As I said uh, before, there will be a tutorial about those uh, later on, so uh, keep your eyes open, and uh, thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye.